Hey everybody, Sharon here, and I'm going to attempt another tutorial on how I make my envelope things, um, my envelope pages. And first off, I have two envelopes, um, and then one of them you're going to want to fold back. Give it a good bone press and take the back one, leave the other one going the right way. You're going to glue up and glue these together. And then once you have it glued together, you're going to cut down. So you'll have this and then you throw it away. And then what you're left with is this and then you snip using a pair of scissors down the middle to where it folds and then so they can go either way and then you're going to take a regular this is an eight and a half by eleven piece of 65 pound weight cardstock and you Decide. Let's see how big you want your things to be. And sometimes I know exactly measurements, but I find that envelopes and bags they can all be off a little bit. So I like to just use this and kind of measure how tall I want, you know, where I, I don't want to go completely off. And so then where my mark is, then I'll cut all the way down. And then I will score one side at half an inch and fold. So this is how your pocket will line up. And I like to go a little bit, have a nice big pocket. So go hmm, right here looks good. And then I will score right here and then snip that end off. And so let's score it up. Let's see, I'm just going to mark where that thing is and go down. Okay. And I fold it over. Make sure everything lines up good. And then I will mark it. I'm going to go in just a little bit. Where I want to cut it. And then I have one pocket almost done. And I find when I um, cut my paper, sometimes there is a, um, some of the paper has been pushed. I don't know, it's kind of like a ridge. I just go over with my bone puller. That way it makes everything smooth and nice. Okay, and then I will just glue this. Get my thing. 
machine wants to work. glue this down, I'll glue it like that, and um, and there will be a pocket right there, so let's do that. I'm going to glue it while it's laying down so that I know it will go because you don't want it right up next to it in there because then it won't lay down all the way. Okay. And the next one. So I'll measure. And I like these to be a little bit um, different so they're not quite the same I'll do this one so they look a little bit different I didn't make a very good noise, now did it? Okay, and now I'm ready to... And how I got this idea was from a gal, um, Cassie Keith, and she did this. I haven't seen her on YouTube late lately, and she had some really good ideas. And so I'll come out here, a little past, mark it where I'm going to score. Now I'll just take that score mark and go up to a number eight. this is even on this side before I give it a final press with my bone folder okay and mark it where I want to cut it <coughs> Yeah. 
I do save my scraps because you just never know what you're going to need. Um, make sure and press that down. Make sure it's nice. I like to feel. Okay. And then I'll go ahead and glue this down. I want that other glue to touch the other side, so I'm holding on to it. pockets. Mm -hmm. And then for this, what I like to do is I like to trim just a little bit off the edge there so that you have a side pocket. Now we have this and it will be a side pocket and cover up the cardstock. You'll glue it here, not here, but here and then a bead right there. That way you'll still have your pocket. And then you have a couple of little pockets here. This is good and then you'll have to do another thing here. And this on the outside, you don't want to put a bead here. Um, you just want to glue from here up and this is what you'll slide in on your um, hinge to glue into your book. So this will be covered up and that will slide in there like that. So, let me do one, get another paper out here. Okay, oops, so I'm messing with my camera. I'm not used to that when I'm crafting. Okay. Oh, there I go again. I'm just a mess today, I guess. Okay.
Okay. That. Okay, so that should fit. That, just like that. Make sure it's even on both sides. Yep. Make sure it'll fold. Yep. So then what I like to do I like using wet glue because if something's off, you can adjust it for a minute. And then you should still have your pocket. Oops, didn't let it dry. <laughs> So one side that's covered, and then just this side will have to be covered, and I still have that one here, so I'll just need to mark where it wants to be out here. Everything will line up right nice. I don't talk too much while I'm crafting. I find it's a good way to relax, or at least me. So if I don't say too much, I do apologize. But sometimes I get my own little world there and Okay. 
buttons. So now this has your pocket and two little pockets and another pocket right here. And then this will slide in here. slide in just like that. So, yep. and it's like three little pages in one. So, I like that. So then I, um, now I just go to add what I want to do on here. Some pattern paper and I'll ink it and but that's how, um, and, but because there's, um, three of these, if I were to put three and three and three, it'd be really bulky. So what I like to do is a three here, a three on here, and then just a single one. I'll glue this up and cut both sides, um, really thin, and then just stick it in a single one. That way it has room. But that is how I do, um, the envelope ones, but this one will be a nice mini album. So, um, again, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, if I didn't explain something quite right, or um, please let me know and give a comment. Please like this video and please subscribe. Thank you.